planning, it is uh, an invisible side of iceberg. How important role does the planning play in during the military operations? Well, the planning is key to conduct military operations. So the entire planning needs to be done prior to entering into an operation. And the plan is then being developed as the, in the execution phase, the operations are unfolding. So planning is the basis, and you know in NATO, plans need to be approved at the strategic level or even the political level, because they form the basis for the authorization by the political level to conduct operations. So the entire planning process is structured, it is conditioned, uh, it requires at certain stages political approval and ultimately need to be approved prior to execution. What does the comprehensive approach mean, and maybe for your personally? Well, I mean, personally and uh, let's say uh, less personally, officially, I think there's no way, given the present spectrum of operations, to use all potential instruments of power i.e. all instruments suited to achieve what we try to achieve. And easy, easy to recognize that many, many of the, um, uh, let's say, activities, actions which need to be conducted, are by nature not just military, they are to a large extent non-military. So the military is just part of an operation, and you may have operations, as I've seen them personally as a commander in Somalia, where the uh, non-military part plays a more important part, uh, part than the military part. So it's mutually supportive, and uh, this is uh, diplomatic, it is political, it is economic, it is financial, it is informational, which plays an important role, and all of these things need to be, uh, in, a, in a kind of a synthesis, being brought together in order to uh, achieve unified action. And, and in most instances, there's not a military solution to the problem. If you look at Afghanistan, if you look at Kosovo, it's not a military solution. Military assist, but, the, but, but even more um, need to be done by the non-military organizations. And what about Latvia? How it becomes that Latvia is the host nation? Well, uh, Latvia is a part of NATO, obviously. <laughs> Yeah. And um, you know that under Article 5 uh, of the NATO Treaty, NATO is responsible. Should anything happen uh, to Latvia, it is obligation of all the other members of, uh, of NATO to come and assist uh, Latvia. This is obligation. And to, to make that plausible uh, to the rest of NATO and to the hopefully Latvian population here is our presence here, namely to illustrate, illustrate that this is part of NATO territory, it's a protected territory and will be protected, whatever is being required. And this needs to be recognized here. It needs to be accepted. It needs to be welcomed. We won't do things which are not welcome to the host nation. And it needs to be clear to the rest of all the member nations that uh, this is an obligation um, we need to live up to. Thank you very much.